In these problems, uh, we want to synthesize these two molecules, starting from benzene in all the regions that you can use, and a max of three carbon atoms when you use a regions with carbon. So, uh, starting from benzene, how do I make that? Notice that these two substituents are meta to each other, so I need to install first a substituent, uh, a group that directs meta to install the second. I know that if I do brominition first, it won't work. Why not? If I do this, this is deactivating orthoparatrectin, so not going to work. And if I do an alkylation and I install that, that is activating orthopara directing. So orthopara is not going to work. So I need to install first uh, a, a group. I need to install a group that is actually meta directing. So what we can do here is then do acylation first. So for that compound, I'm going to start from benzene. And then I'm going to do a Friedel-Craft acylation. And I only need to add two carbons. So acetyl chloride with aluminum trichloride. And that way, I will install. And I already have that two carbons that I need. Not only that, this group is deactivating meta directing so now i can do a bromination and i will get what i want well not yet but the orientation that is desired so bromination um iron tribromide and we know that this group is deactivating meta directing so all well, the two positions are identical and here you will have that ketone. So metabromo acetophenone. Now, this is not yet what I need, but the substituents add meta to each other. What now? We need to do a reduction of the carbonyl, and that's a Clemenson reduction, that is zinc with mercury and HCl. Remember that here you could also do hydrazine, and OH, either conditions will give you your target molecule, which is then ethyl group here in bromine, and they are meta, right? So again, notice we first analyzed what if we did bromination first, didn't work. If we did alkylation first, didn't work because we didn't have the substitution pattern that we wanted. And so we decided to do acylation, which actually does the right orientation. And once you have installed the bromine, you can uh, reduce the acetyl group. All right, so let's try to do this one. Um, in this strategy, they are uh, ortho to each other. So what can we do now? Um, but I say there's an, um, you can think of here. Uh, alkyl groups are ortho para directing, but if I do from benzene, say that I do the following in this analyze if it doesn't work or not. If you do this, so I have three carbon atoms, so one, two, three, and a chlorine. So say that we do the um, Friedel-Craft alkylation here, of course, with aluminum trichloride. That, the problem with that is, think of the carbonic ion that you could be forming. If this supports and you have this carbonic ion, that is primary, which is unstable. So, what is happening is that this carbonic ion rearranges in the electrophile that you're going to have is this. Therefore, the product is not propyl benzene, which is what I wanted in the first place. It's going to be isopropyl benzene. And that's not what I want. Even though this will direct uh, orthopera, it's not what I want. 
Okay. Uh, so, but there is a way in which we can do better, which is using a solution. A solution, we can uh, we do to prevent rearrangement. So instead of using that the strategy, I'm going to erase this and. Now, I'm going to write it like smaller over here. I'm going to do first an um, acylation reaction. That way, I would not have the problem with rearrangement. So, I need three carbons, right? So, this is one, two, and three. And aluminum trichloride. Dab will install this group, but what what is the characteristic of this group? We have a carbonyl group directly attached to the aromatic ring. Every time that you have that, it could be a carboxylic acid, an ester, an amide, but you have this group that is electron withdrawing. So this is deactivating and meta directing. So not what I want. I cannot do the nitration immediately. Because if I do that, um, the group will be entering meta, and I need it ortho. So one more step that I need to do is uh, first, following the acylation, I need to do the reduction. And that's what we did before here. So if I do Clemenson reduction, so zinc, mercury, and HCl, now I'm going to have this group, and I'm going to write it over here. Well, it's the same, right? So the probable group. Now, I only want the ortho product. If I do the nitration from this, from propyl benzene, the most likely the major product is going to be para. That's a large group. That's activating ortho para directing so here they are the positions for the nitration but again the major is going to be here so not what i want so what we can do instead is use a protective group in that position in that protective or blocking group is going to be the sulfonic acid group so i'm going to remove that and before doing the nitration I am going to do a sulfonation. So I'm going to be using fuming sulfuric acid, which means I have a SO3 gas. And so um, I may need to erase that slide. And I will do that. So for the other problem, let's do this. So I'm going to continue that, drawing up. You follow the arrows. Okay. Fuming. Again, this is an alkyl group activating ortho para directing. Since it's large, ortho is here, here, and here, but that's a measure. And I'm going to protect my para position. So now I have a propyl group in a sulfonic group here. Now I can do the nitration. That's my target, remember. I want to make that. So now if I do the nitration, what do I use for nitration? I use nitric acid, sulfuric acid. And again, now I have two substituents in the ring, activating deactivating. So the alkyl group, the activating group is going to determine the region selectivity here in this reaction. So it's going to be ortho to the proper each of these is identical equivalent. So the nitro group is going to enter ortho to the propyl group. So I'm close here, but I still have the sulfonic acid group. So how do I remove it and get what I want? My target molecule is this. So I go, how do I go? 
from here to there, I need to desulfonate. So remove that sulfonic acid group. And this is done with diluted sulfuric acid heat. We remove that sulfonic acid group. So here is your strategy. And so we'll be doing um, a little bit more of synthesis in another problem.